hi it's been a long time since i make a long form video i've been away from youtube for a while even though technically i was still on it because i was posting shorts <laughs> but i haven't made a long form video in a minute i missed making these little haul videos so i thought it would be fun to catch you up on all the stuff that i have found recently january is always a little bit rough because everybody's like recovering from the post holiday spending myself included so i haven't gone thrifting that much because i'm trying to save money but i did gather up everything i did buy a lot of stuff of course on sale taking advantage of those christmas post holiday sales so i did find a couple of things at a reduced price which you all know i love of course i can't stay away from thrifting forever so i did find a couple of thrift pieces that i wanted to show you everything's kind of random so we'll just start wherever so the first thing i wanted to share is part of one of my resolutions so i feel like every single year i'm like my new year's resolution is to drink more water <laughs> i think that's like everybody's new year's resolution but anyway so again this year i'm like i'm going to drink more water so i don't know about y'all but i always get super hyped to drink water when i get a new water bottle so of course this time around i'm like i need to get myself a really cool water bottle that i'll love to drink from and this is it <laughs> So if you've probably seen like all over the internet, the really big Stanley cup that has the handle on the side. So that one has been blowing up for a while now. For some reason, I was never like, I never gravitated towards it. I'm not a really big like straw person. I think they're kind of gross, <laughs> especially if they're just like out there in the open the whole time. So, but when I saw this one, I thought it was perfect. It's a lot smaller than the other one. I love this carrying handle. I take it with me everywhere, especially when I do go out shopping or to the thrift stores or whatever. I'm usually out for a long time so I always bring a water bottle with me and this is perfect because I can literally just grab it and it's my Gucci purse <laughs> so I love that and since I said I'm kind of grossed out by straws I love that this one can like tuck in so I don't know that grosses me out less than having one that's like always exposed out in the open so this one like you don't have to touch it at all you can just pop it up with the little tab and you're good to go so I've been using it like crazy I've been very consistent so I think one month in and and I've been drinking two of these every single day. I think it's a 30 ounce container. So like almost four glasses of water times two. So like eight glasses. But yeah, so I'm sticking to my resolution. I'm drinking a lot of water and it's all thanks to this gorgeous Stanley cup. <laughs> so it is a little bit more pricey than like a regular like plastic water bottle, but I love it. I think it's totally worth it. The fact that I've been sticking with my resolution for like the entire month of January is a really big deal for me. So I'm very happy I bought this. So we'll move on to a couple of things that I got on sale. First, this technically qualifies as like a Christmas purchase, but I've been using it all of winter and it's this super cute fluffy star pillow. It's from Pottery Barn. It's originally really expensive. So even though I've been wanting it since I first saw it like in October or November, I was like, I can't afford it. I'm not going to buy it. Eventually it did go down to 41. So I snatched it up, but now it's on sale for like 28 bucks. So I was like, dang like if only i had waited a little bit longer so don't do as i did but take advantage now that's on sale on like super super reduced sale take advantage and buy for yourself it is so soft i'm sure you can see like the texture is like delicious like i love just running my hands through it like this it's amazing i'm obsessed with it i have it on my bed right now i don't know why but for me like stars are very like winter vibes so not necessarily just for christmas so i've had it all of january i'll probably keep it out into february because before I put it away for the springtime, but I am obsessed with it. So even though I paid more than I could have, I would pay the 41 again because I do love this pillow and a couple more star shaped items so first i have these earrings which i think technically i thrifted them december 31st but i hadn't shown them to you so i'm doing it now these cute little star earrings that i thrifted at thrift smart so cute i wore these for new year which i thought was very appropriate and then the other thing are these star coasters i have been wanting these also for a couple of months now and i was waiting for them to go on sale at like terrain or our house but the shipping is always so expensive in these places so even with a huge discount it would be almost the same price as if you didn't buy it on sale because of the shipping cost but i ended up finding them on amazon and they went on sale like right after the holidays at the beginning of january i was like i don't know if i should get them or not so i went back and forth and my husband ended up buying them for me so i'm very thankful for that <laughs> they are so cute it comes in a pack of four and i just think that they're so stunning obviously they would be super super cute for like a christmas party again 
again throughout the winter i love having like stars and star shaped things marble of course is stunning no matter what or when or how so i love having these in our living room and another marble piece that i thrifted this one's a big one it's a cutting board or i guess a charcuterie board it is so heavy like this is a workout just like lifting this up but it's so nice i think i bought it for ten dollars i just think it's so pretty it has this little tie to hang but honestly it's so heavy that i don't see myself ever hanging it i think this will be great for hosting a little party or just if you want to be fancy make your own charcuterie board i think it would be so cute another thing that i got on sale that i had been wanting for so long are these mugs they are gorgeous they're also from pottery barn i think i've wanted these for like over a year now i'm not much of an impulse buyer so i really like to wait on things and i am obsessed with these they are so gorgeous they come in a bunch of other different colors i think there's a gray one that's also really beautiful i considered getting that one too because i really liked it but i ended up getting these neutral ones which are the ones that i originally wanted and i just think it's a perfect shape the perfect size it's kind of a smaller cup most of the cups that are like this style are really really big i don't like to drink really big quantities of like a beverage because it just fills me up so much so I like that this one is really small so I can just have like a nice cup of tea before bed and not feel like I'm gonna explode. It's just so pretty. Like I don't know if you can see the details. It has like a really nice texture. It's like stoneware but it's like really soft and I don't know I just really really love it. And another thing that I got on the Christmas sale was from Crate and Barrel. I got these gorgeous stems. Again they're like Christmas like berry white berries but I feel like they can work throughout the winter season so I have them in our living room and they're just absolutely gorgeous. I love how they look and speaking of the living room we've made a lot of changes to it if you've been following me on instagram i'm sure that you've seen some of them if you haven't already definitely make sure to follow me there because i'm constantly updating on like what i'm doing and what changes i'm making to the apartment so definitely follow me on there but we did make a lot of changes to our living room so we added new curtains we switched out our lamp fixture so now we actually have light in the living room <laughs> it actually works and we switched out our rug so both the rug and the light i got on sales which was such a good deal the light is absolutely gorgeous i bought it in black it was on sale for i think 50 dollars, which was a huge deal because i saw a very similar one on facebook marketplace used for like almost 80 dollars. so when i saw it for 50 brand new i was like i need to i need to do that so i still haven't decided because originally i wanted a gold light fixture for now i'm leaving it black but i might change my mind and paint in gold in the future we'll see but i think it looks really stunning in black as well and it matches some of the other fixtures fixtures that we have in our living room and then the other thing that we switched was our rug so if you've been following me for a while the living room has gone through like i don't know four or five different rugs like i always struggle with the living room i did find one that i really liked which was the washable one from amazon but we decided to put that one in our office so once we did that it was back to searching for a new rug for the living room i did originally buy the studio mcgee one and it was absolutely gorgeous and i love the design but it sheds like crazy which normally is not a huge problem for me i don't mind like i'm used to having wool rugs i've purchased like three or four wool rugs from the studio mcgee line and i usually don't mind but this one shed a lot the problem is that it was light colored whereas my other ones were like grayish tones and stuff like that so it was really really obvious on our dark floor like i would vacuum and like a second later it looked like a plushie exploded onto our floors <laughs> it was incredibly noticeable i think if you have a light colored floor it wouldn't be as noticeable and you can get away with vacuuming like i don't know once a week or something but the shedding on ours was extremely noticeable on our dark floor so i was like enough is enough i'm tired of vacuuming so i got a new bug <laughs> and that one was also on sale and it's absolutely stunning it's exactly what i wanted it has a very like subtle pattern which i really love because then it's neutral but still has like something interesting about it instead of just like one white big rug no shedding which is the most important thing and i actually love that it's a little bit wider than our previous rug i feel like a lot more light bounces off of it because it's so bright so the living room just looks like so much brighter which you all know i've complained about a thousand times on this channel that our living room is super 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 dark <laughs> so any little light any little extra light we can get in there is like 
amazing and of course you all know at this point i'm a little bit addicted to rugs so i did get another rug this time for our kitchen if you remember my previous kitchen runner i absolutely love it it is still such a great rug and i think it's less than 50 dollars might be like 45 around there it's absolutely gorgeous and i liked it so much i actually put it in our guest bathroom since we had a guest coming over for the holidays and i love how it looks there so of course i needed to find a replacement for our kitchen i had been wanting something a little bit bigger to fill up more space of the kitchen and also i wanted like a jute is it ute or jute i don't know a jute runner i had wanted a jute runner but those like shed and after i had the experience of the shedding from the previous rug i was like i don't want to do that again <laughs> i had wanted something that looked like jute or you whatever but not actually do so i ended up finding one on facebook marketplace that was exactly what i was looking for it was the perfect size perfect width and length and it had this really beautiful texture that looked like jute but it's not actually jute so it was perfect it's neutral really subtle design again so i absolutely love how it looks one of my goals for thrifting this year is to thrift a lot more books i just think that they look really great like for styling purposes and all of that if you're a nashville local i highly recommend this store it's called mckay's they have a ton of used books they also have like games and toys and like anime and manga and cds and vinyls like it's a store with literally everything you can think of and i absolutely love it and spend so much time there this time around i got really lucky and i found a couple of design books these are it here so i got this one the remodelista the organized home which looks so pretty and then i got two from cozy white cottage liz marie is like one of my favorite instagram account so if you don't follow her definitely do her style is so gorgeous it's definitely like farmhouse like cottage vibes and it's just so cozy and i love getting inspiration from her account so i got two of her books the cozy white cottage one and then this one is a seasonal book i've already started looking through the seasonal one and i am obsessed with it i'm getting so much inspiration for not just the winter time but for all the other seasons as well so i'm really excited to keep reading my books and they will be really pretty just like stacked somewhere for decor either with the binds showing like this because they're white and neutral or like this so that you can only see the pages but either way they are gorgeous then something super exciting that we did this month with my husband is he actually went antiquing with me which if you all don't know he never does <laughs> if you haven't seen the video we did of him going thrifting for me that was pretty fun i definitely would like to do that with him again in the future but this time we took advantage that he had a day off from work and he actually went antiquing with me i didn't find a ton of stuff unfortunately but i did find one piece and it's this bowl and i just think it is so gorgeous i've been wanting to try like more bowls for my decor i posted a video of how i redid a dough bowl and i love how it turned out and i like it empty but i also think it would look pretty with things like filled in so i think this would look absolutely gorgeous now for the winter it would look so pretty with some like big pine cones in it but i can probably use it for all the seasons is just a really pretty color i've also been gravitating towards these like darker moodier browns as you could probably tell by the color scheme <laughs> in my built-ins but i just think it's so pretty the only thing that i don't like about it is it has these like flowers in there <laughs> which i had not seen because when i went to grab it it had like faux filler so when i took it to the front and they wrapped it for me they took out the filler and i didn't see the inside of it so it wasn't until i got home and i unwrapped it that i noticed the flowers <laughs> i mean most of the time it's going to be filled anyway so it shouldn't be a big deal i could potentially try to remove it with some acetone but i don't want to damage because it is like so old and antique so i think i'll just leave the flowers and just fill it up so that you can't see them and i think i paid like 13 bucks for it which it was not a bad price because then as we continued walking around the antique mall we saw more bowls like that were very similar that were selling for like 50 and up i was like wow i think i got a really good deal on this 13 dollar bowl and another new thing that i tried this month was antique shopping but online or like thrift shopping online so i follow a lot of like thrifting instagram pages online and i've just been like perusing and seeing if i find anything that i like and the other day i found this gorgeous antique painting i just thought it was so pretty and i loved it and i thought it was kind of meant to be because it was a picture of bruges in belgium which my husband and i had been to a year ago so i thought that was so fun and kind of like full circle moment <laughs> that we can have a little piece of that trip now in our home i'm super excited i haven't picked it up yet but when i do i'm thinking of doing like a little gallery 
gallery wall so that'll be super exciting to put some vintage art pieces together i definitely want to thrift some more paintings i do love using like prints and stuff that you can find online but there's something extra special about like actually having an antique piece so i've been trying to find more of those they're a little bit more unique obviously and a little bit more expensive so it's taking some time to like source enough to make an actual gallery wall so hopefully i can get that done by february but we'll see and you know slow and steady i want to find like pieces that i like so but this one was just absolutely gorgeous i think this might be a bit dangerous for me to start like buying online thrifting as well because that's like super easy i don't even have to leave my house so it's gonna be bad for my wallet <laughs> and speaking of my built-ins i did buy these baskets from target i think they look so pretty and they're perfect for organization i know a lot of people take january to like reorganize their entire home and declutter and whatnot i definitely needed a lot of decluttering after the holidays so i did buy these baskets that are absolutely gorgeous they looked completely different online which I, that's why I didn't even consider buying them when I saw them online but I saw them in store and I really liked how they looked so I grabbed a couple of those and then you've probably seen I've already started posting a couple of Valentine's Day decor ideas here and there so the last couple of things that I bought this month are for Valentine's Day I normally don't decorate for Valentine's Day but I thought this year would be kind of fun to do it my birthday's in February pretty close to Valentine's so I thought it would be cute to just like have all of the heart decor up for my birthday I'm challenging myself to make some diys that are like really cheap and affordable so i won't show you all of the supplies that i bought for that because i will be making another separate video for those diys so definitely subscribe those will be out in february but i still bought a couple of pieces here and there i bought these super cute little mugs from target they're so pretty and obviously like they have a heart so you can use them for valentine's but they're neutral enough that you can use them all year long so that's what i was trying to go for for my decor for valentine's it's like i want it to be heart but neutral that you can really use it at any point and i got this cute little wreath this one is from hobby lobby and i think it's nine inches but that's absolutely everything that i bought this month i'll try to link as many things as i can in the description below so in case you are interested in any of the items or something similar you can check that out you all know i love budget finds so i really tried hard this month to only buy things that were on sale or things that i've been really wanting and even though i didn't buy too many things i love everything that i bought so i was so excited to share it with you all but i think Think moving forward i'm probably going to do these like monthly haul videos just because i'm not thrifting as much as i used to now that we're like more settled in i don't need to be buying things all the time <laughs> and obviously it's expensive to be buying things like all the time so if i can avoid going thrifting like three times a week it's probably for the best <laughs> but i still have fun sharing with you all what i do find so i think it would be fun to do a video like this maybe a little bit longer than usual but at least it's like a full haul and not like look at this one item i found i can't make a video about that so but i do have some other fun videos planned out for the next month so definitely look forward to those they'll be a little bit different from my previous like haul and decorating videos but i think they'll be just as fun so hopefully you all will like them but that's all for today i hope you've all been well and enjoying the new year and i will see you all very soon in another video bye